Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin for those of you that are new here and if not, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here today. In this video, I'm going to take you through just shy of a 45 minute yin yoga practice. Our focus today physically is the chest, shoulders, upper back and shoulder blades, a little bit of work into the low back and then energetically the focus is the heart and self love. As a heads up for today's class, you will want a yoga strap to floss the shoulders shoulders, a blanket, and two blocks. From my heart to yours, I hope you have a beautiful practice. Yin is one of my favorite styles of yoga. It's a wonderful opportunity to really slow down the mind, get relatively comfortable in challenging situations, challenging postures, and really dissolve stored stressors and tensions that are carried deep in the tissues of the body. And have a beautiful practice. I hope that you enjoy. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I will see you soon. You can set the strap off to the side. We'll come back to that a little bit later on, but for centering, we will be using two blocks and that blanket. For opening meditation, we'll get started in a supported half locust. Take your blanket, you fold it up, put that out in front of you. This will pad your forehead. It is not meant to suffocate your nose or your mouth or prevent your breathing, just meant to pad your forehead. Next, you'll grab your two blocks. You want to place them out in front of you, framing that blanket at first or second setting. You won't really know which setting until you place your shoulders down. The blocks are going to shelve your shoulder caps to the very fronts of your shoulders. So make your way belly down. Blocks are at shoulder width distance and you want them to support, again, the very fronts of your shoulders. Hug them in as little or as wide as necessary. Then you drop your chin towards your chest. Let your forehead take rest on that folded blanket. The backs of your hands take rest on the floor at your sides and your arms go long. Just a natural, easy curl in your fingers. So a great way to begin the expansion of your chest and broadness through collarbones. However, if starting class in this pose, if it does not feel good, if it does not feel right, please modify entirely. Lie down on your back body and take Shavasana. The blanket is meant to pad your neck and your head. Arms and legs go long and heavy. Please personalize your fidgets and your adjustments. In supported half locust, be sure that your shoulders are resting in a comfortable place. That's all relative. If the posture is new in your body, it might be a little bit uncomfortable, but as long as you can breathe deeply, you're in a safe place. Allow your eyes to close without squeeze or strain. Soften the lower palate of your jaw, your lips, and your tongue. And to settle into your space, the four corners of your mat, take a long, slow, deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale to release. Closure of your mouth, breathe in through your nose. Sweet and slow, breathe out through your nose. And with your soft inner gaze, begin to focus on your heart, the very center of your chest. And at this pause in stillness, you may find that you can feel the beat of your heart. And from the beat of your heart, you feel a little more connected to your body in this moment. Just maybe the moment shines a little bit brighter. And if it resonates for the duration of this practice, imagine that you are breathing in through the heart and out through the heart. Along with the breath, there's a vibrant white light that expands from the heart on your inhalation it's purifying and healing. 
And it softens on your exhalation. It draws inward and centralizes at your heart space. In your inhalation, your heart grows and the white light expands. And on the exhalation, your heart softens. The white light centralizes. With the energy and attention at your heart, it is at this time we acknowledge what is perhaps the most ancient intention of the practice. Rooted in the teachings of metta, loving kindness and compassion, may all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be safe. May all beings know peace. May all beings find their freedom. May all beings move through the world with ease. To simultaneously seal and share the collective intention from your heart to mine, take a big breath in. From my heart to yours, a complete breath out. Closure of your mouth, ujjayi breath in through your nose, initiate the constriction in your throat, and breathe out through your nose. Maintain the constriction deep in your throat. You prioritize the ease in your transition. We'll meet in child pose. If you're in half supported locust, firm into your hands, sink hips to heels. If you opted for shavasana, Hug your knees in towards your chest. Roll to fetal pose. Press into your hands to lift your torso. Big toes together, wide knees. You melt your heart and your head down to blocks, hands, or floor. If your shoulders allow, you extend your arms out long in front of you. Tuck your chin closer to your chest and bring your hairline just a little bit closer to the earth. Notice any tightness or freedom through your armpits. This rotation you're asking of your shoulders and the melting of your chest. As you watch your breathings deep and free, side body stretch to the left. Walk hands, arms, and torso over to the left side of your space. Keep that mild tuck of your chin towards your chest, hairline towards the earth. Option to bend your left elbow, plant your left palm. As you press into it, dip your right shoulder and right armpit just a little closer to the floor. As you see curve your spine, feel wide breathing into your waist, right rib tissue and lat muscle. The shoulders, arms, and hands, a continuation or lateral extension of the energetic heart. It is the heart that governs your ability to love and be loved. Through the side body stretch, take a wide breath in. Exhale, pass through child pose. Walk hands, arms, torso, all the way over to the right side of your space. Find that mild tuck of chin to throat. Option to bend your right elbow, plant right hand, firm into it. Dip your left armpit and shoulder a little bit closer to the earth. It's far from easy, but very simple. Continue to move the breath that stems from your heart up and down the center channel of your body. from your heart to your navel, and your navel back into your heart. Through your side body stretch, follow a wide breath in. Exhale, child pose, come back down the middle and take three cycles of conscious breath.
loving awareness, mindful transition. Inhale, tabletop, rise to hands and knees. With your shoulders over your wrists and hips over kneecaps. Inhale, cow pose, drop your belly and elevate your heart. Exhale, cat spine, tuck your pelvis and tuck your chin. Two more, inhale, cow stretch, slow to undulate your spine. Exhale, cat back, press through palms and knees to dome out your shoulder blades. One more cycle, inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat back. And from your neutral table, grab for your blanket. Place that right underneath your knees. Puppy pose or heart melting pose. Keep your hips over your knees. Begin to walk hands and arms forward. If you'd like this to be more supported, blocks under chest, under forehead. You bring the ground closer to you. Tailor the pose to your wants and needs. If it's accessible and sustainable, Melt your forehead, chest, or chin all the way down to your yoga mat. I'd like to remind you that deeper or more is far from better. Your best is wherever you can breathe and commit to stillness. Let that connection of forehead to floor or props be an inspiration to ease your facial expression your eyes, your jaw, tongue, and lips. Land your inner gaze at your heart space and begin to steady the breath. With every inhalation, that white light at your heart expands. And with every exhalation, it softens and draws back into the heart space. That white light is a symbol of purity and healing. It has been said that one of the most courageous things an individual can do is love themselves completely and deeply. It is something that no one else can see or feel, but it is something that can change your life. to love yourself for who you are as opposed to what you do. Regardless of the success or the failures, to love yourself right here, right now, in the purity of this moment. You'll stay in the posture, follow a deep breath in. Exhale, melt your heart a little bit closer to the earth. And tuck your front ribs back, draw navel to spine. Please be gentle and patient. Tabletop is where we meet. Same dynamic movement, inhale, cow pose, heart high, gaze forward. Exhale, cat spine. A mild lift through back ribs. Again, inhale, cow pose, collarbones broad. Exhale, cat spine. You might find a greater lift in the back ribs. One more cycle, inhale, cow. Exhale, cat back. And let's keep your blanket. Grab for your strap, you want that nearby. A broken toe pose. Tuck your toes under, walk your hands back towards your knees and take a seat on your heels. Now, if you want this to be a little more supported, I fully get that, grab for one of your blocks. Place that right underneath your knees. Option two is to use that same block, knees down, take a seat on the block, place it between your hips and your heels. 
If at any point broken toe pose simply becomes too much, you stand on your knees, right? Today's focus is the upper body. Anyways, you'll grab for your strap, floss the shoulders. If you don't have a yoga strap, please use a towel, blanket, t-shirt. The two things that you want to remember with shoulder flossing, there's no bend in your elbows and there's always tightness in the strap, so no slack. Stretch your strap out in front of you. On your inhalation, lift the strap up overhead. Hands as wide as you need them to be. On your exhale, lower the strap back behind you. Good, let's move slow and steady. Inhale, shoulders, arms and hands lift. Exhale, arms and hands lower out in front of you. Nice and slow, inhale, arms rise. Exhale, arms back and down. Feel the squeeze at your shoulder blades. Again, inhale, arms rise. Feel into your feet as you navigate the breath. Exhale, arms lower. Now set your gaze or close your eyes. Inhale, lift upward. Exhale, lower back and down. Inhale, arms and strap overhead. Exhale, lower down in front of you. With the ujjayi breath, one more cycle. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower back and down. Inhale to lift up. Maintain neutral expression of your face. Exhale, strap out in front of you. You'll set that strap off to the side. Walk forward into tabletop. Come to your hands and your knees. First change for the feet, hover them off the floor. Notice any change in temperature. Then point your toes with patience, flex your feet. Again, feet point and then feet flex. Take a few rotations into your ankles, both directions, and then gently flap the tops of your feet down onto your mat. Next, Sphinx pose. You can keep the blanket on your mat that will pad your hip points. Lower all the way down to your belly. Press down through the tops of your feet, even your tiny little pinky toes. Feel the lift in your knees. Then tuck your pelvis, tailbone to heels. That's crucial for low back length. Prop yourself up on your elbows, right underneath your shoulders. Root down through inner wrists and inner hands. There's a pride in your heart as you lift. Just as much as the heart lifts, lift the base of your skull. Tip your gaze slightly forward and down. Personal preference, you can establish an external drishti. Or you can close your eyes and draw attention inward. And start to breathe a little bit deeper and sweeter into your lower abdominals. If this resonates, every time you exhale, soften your sacrum and tailbone down towards your heels. Let that choice flood your lumbar and sacrum with space. As you're settled in to the choices through the physical body, begin to channel the breathing. That channeled breath will support your physical body in this relative challenge. And it will help to anchor your mind in this moment. This moment that comes to life when you offer your heart to it. The moment that comes to life when you choose to love yourself as you are in it. That true expression of self-love, you'll find that expectation and judgment, they begin to melt away. that mild lift in the base of your skull and continue to press down through inner wrists and inner hands. A 
If you're perfectly content in Sphinx pose, please stay as you are. If you'd like to explore seal, your thumbs point forward, four fingers off to the side. Press to the base of your palms any amount you hover forearms and elbows, or you lengthen and straighten your arms entirely. Your shoulders wrap back and your shoulder blades start to squeeze together top to bottom. Please maintain the lift to the base of your skull and tip your gaze down. With breath in your belly and your low back. If at any point the sensation or back bend, if it becomes too deep or too intense, please give yourself the opportunity to come out early. Take care of yourself always. Give or take last 30 seconds. That's about three cycles of balanced breath from the heart. whether it's a sphinx or a seal pose, take a big breath in and elevate your heart and head. Exhale, splay your elbows, pillow your hands, let forehead or either temple take rest. Take a deep bend in your knees and windshield wiper your feet to the right and to the left. Lead with patience, rise up through tabletop. Come to your seat. I will encourage a little bit of height for your seat. Folded blanket or block can be helpful. Once you're seated, cow face. Now the upper body is the focus. However, if you'd like to work with hips, I will offer that as well. Extend your right leg long out in front of you. Cross your left knee and left thigh over your right. If your hips allow, shift the weight to the right. Bend your right knee as well. Your heels nice and close to outer hips or shins in a parallel line to the small front edge of your space. Either works. Stretch your arms out in a big capital T, left arm up, bend your left elbow, pat your upper back. You can take your right hand to left elbow and pull in towards your midline. Choose to stay right here. Option to extend your right arm to the right, flip your right thumb down, bend your right elbow. Grab your clothing, use your strap, or work to find your fingers. This is entirely up to you. Please empower yourself to take care of yourself. Shoulders over hips or you begin to forward fold and melt your front ribs a little bit closer towards your top left thigh. If this effort with the legs is all too much, simply uncross. You can extend your legs out long in front of you. And once you find the appropriate depth, a little bit of discomfort, potential tightness, but remember nothing is painful. You know that to be true because you can breathe. Choose stillness. Down to your feet and your fingers, inch by inch, everything else in between. Just let the posture do its job, which is dissolve stored stressors and tensions. As you physically work into shoulders and expand your chest, Start to breathe from the heart. Let that white healing light radiate from you with every inhale and exhale. And let the chosen constriction deep in your throat anchor your mind in the moment. When these sensations get bigger and louder, often you'll find the ego comes to the practice. And it starts to insist that it's too much, it's too deep, it's too boring, it's too slow. But in your heart, right, in your higher heart, you know that what you are doing is special and it's important, which is why you're here. In this first side, together we breathe in. Together we breathe out, expel that stale breath. Navel to spine, inhale, lift. Exhale to settle, especially slow with the right shoulder, right arm. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, sweep high, lengthen. Flip your hands, exhale, fingertips to floor and drop your chin to your chest. 
Slow to uncross your legs. Point your toes, flex your feet, rotate your ankles, and bounce the backs of your knees. The second side, cross your right thigh, right knee over left. Option to shift to the left, bend your left knee as well. Feel grounded equally through both sitting bones, level through your hips. Stretch your arms out in that big capital T, reach your right arm high, bend your right elbow, pat upper back. Option to use your left hand to assist. Pull a little bit further into your midline. If it's sustainable and appropriate, left arm out. Dial your left thumb down, bend left elbow. Take hands to strap, clothing, or finagle and see if you can find your fingertips. Remember a long lifted spine is option one. If you'd prefer, begin to forward fold. Melt your front ribs and heart closer to your top right knee. If cow face legs or shoelace legs, if this is all too much, lift your torso, extend your legs long, and then simply focus on hands, arms, shoulders, and chest. Mild stressors, relative stressors, that you can practice breathing deeply with and through. When you mindfully breathe through this appropriate challenge, you become less reactive, far more responsive to the moment. You may even find that Curiosity towards the sensation, where exactly do you feel it and what does it feel like, can be helpful when committing to stillness. Set your gaze or close your eyes and start to channel the breath. Nourish your seeds of softness in eyes, jaw, and mouth. Last few moments on your second side. Stay in the posture. Take a deep breath in. Let all your stale breath out. Take your time, inhale, lift your torso if you're in that fold. Exhale, settle with shoulders over hips. Especially slow with the left shoulder. Inhale, left arm sweep high, please take your time. Exhale, flip your hands, just fingertips to floor and drop your chin to your chest. Extend both legs long out in front of you. Work your point and flex ankle rotations and gently bounce backs of knees to floor. Tabletop, cross at ankles, come through to hands and knees. Come back to that dynamic movement. Inhale, cow pose, front body open. Exhale, cat spine, back body high. Two more, inhale, cow. From the heart, exhale, cat back. One more time, big breath in. And all your breath out. We'll find our ankle stretch to counter broken toe. Walk inner knees and inner feet together. You take a seat on your heels. If at any point the seat on your heels becomes too much, remember like earlier, you can always stand on your knees. Stretch your right arm forward, palm open. You bend your left elbow. As you hook into elbow creases, walk hands to shoulder blades. Take your half bind or full wrap around. Very simply, you focus on your elbows. Inhale, lift your elbows off your chest. Exhale, round your spine and deeply fold, round your upper back. Two more, inhale, lift your elbows, lift your eyes. Exhale, round your spine, feel breath, press to shoulder blades. One more, take a big breath in, heart, elbows high. Exhale, round through the upper back and drop your chin to your chest. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Both arms lift, feel freedom and lightness. Flip hands, exhale, fingertips ground. Extend your left arm forward, palm up. Bend your right elbow, hook to left elbow crease. 
Take hands to your back body, shoulder blades specifically. Hands up, half bind or full wrap around. Your inhalation, elbows rise. Exhale, round to the upper back, forward fold. Two more, inhale, elbows upward. Exhale, elbows round, forward. One more time, take a big breath in, lift your heart, lift your chin. Exhale, round to the upper back and fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, lift your heart and eyes. Flip hands, exhale, fingertips to mat. Good, we'll recline to the back body. Take your blanket at the back, small edge of your space. Use your hands and arms to lower down. Happy baby pose, hug knees to chest, pull them wide. Stack your heels over knees. Now to maintain ease through shoulders, neck and head, let's not over effort anything. For today, place hands on hamstrings. Keep your elbows and triceps grounded. If you'd like more sensation for groin or inner thighs, option to straighten out both legs, create more of a wide, reclined dragonfly pose. Lengthen the back of your neck. Chin beneath forehead. And just feel the length of your spine for a big breath in. Let all your breath out. Three more breaths in happy baby pose. down to your open hips, breathe in deeply. Exhale, hug your knees to your chest. Plant feet on mat, toe heel your feet wide and do a little windshield wiper of the knees. Let your low spine get a mild twist. Whichever way your knees fall, look in the opposite direction. Bring the twist into your neck, into your throat. And if at this point in your practice anything feels untouched, undone, please work out final postures. The moment you find there's nothing left for you to do, apanasana, hug knees to chest. Option to round up shoulders, neck and head. Tight and compact, take a big breath in. Exhale, shavasana, release into final rest. Tuck your shoulder blades inward. Purposely prop up your heart using your bones. Remember hands, a lateral extension of your open heart. Feel the natural curl in your fingers. If you find it beneficial, cleanse and exhalation. From your heart to mine, take a deep breath in. From my heart to yours, open mouth, exhale. And with your gathered mind and the willingness in your heart, may you enjoy and appreciate your precious time spent in rest.
starts with loving awareness. You reconnect to your heart as you take a deep breath in. A complete breath out. Of course, from the comfort of your home, if you'd like more time and rest, extend your stay and just listen. But if there's a readiness to move on, remember the beauty of the awakening is the conscious change. With love, you move fingers and feet. Wrists and ankles rotate. Gradually, a full body stretch that will feel amazing through the length of your limbs and spine. From your low back into the earth and hug your knees sweetly up into your heart space. Keep the length in the back of your neck as you roll to fetal pose on your right side. Use a blanket or upper arm to support the right side of your head. And while in this state of reflection, close your eyes and take a moment, pause and feel into the effects of this practice your concentrated efforts and attention. Channel the breath, a deep inhalation, and a complete exhalation. You move in a way that you feel taken care of as you transition upright to a comfortable seat. one in which you feel grounded into your sitting bones, long and tall through the length of your spine. Please join your hands together in Anjali Mudra at your chest. Set your gaze or close your eyes. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be safe. May all beings know peace. May all beings find their freedom. May all beings move through the world with ease. As you carry the vibration of loving kindness and connection in your heart, take a big breath in. Share this gift, complete your breath out. My hope for you is that your practice, your healing is continuous, your heart steady and of benefit to the family of all beings. With an abundance of love and gratitude extended to you, we close the practice. Namaste. Thank you so much, everyone. Be kind to yourself and be kind to others. Have a wonderful rest of your day.